And it's cases like this one that once again brings domestic violence to the forefront, but it's really something that never goes away. And for victims who feel like they're living in silence and have nowhere to go, we're on your side with some vital information. And on your side, Stephanie Hudson now with how victims can become survivors by breaking the cycle. Stephanie? And Tom and Lena, many times victims are afraid they can't make it on their own. Afraid the violence will get worse if they leave. Family and friends maybe won't support them or they don't have any money. Well, your fears are valid, but your life is worth more. And advocates have a way out. The death of Shanita Yor Lewis is sad, but sadly, not surprising to those who work with victims of domestic violence. For black and African American women, the rates of lethality is 2.5 times higher than any other ethnic group. Courtney Pierce with Samaritan House in Virginia Beach and Sanu Dang with Transition Shelter on the peninsula want to stop the cycle. We encourage folks to call um, whether you're in, you know, experiencing intimate partner violence or you know someone. Hampton Roads has four domestic violence shelters that offer services including 24-hour hotlines, safety planning, free counseling, court advocacy and financial assistance. Because housing is a big resource. So if you leave, where will you live? Money is a big issue. It keeps many in dangerous situations. They just said I could not afford to leave. And while many might say you can't afford not to leave, these professionals understand. We can talk through those options and kind of weigh the risks that are associated with leaving and staying and really being strategic about um, helping you make the decision that's best for you and your relationship. There is no one perfect solution, they say, but there is one thing for sure. Ultimately, you know, living a life free from violence and being safe is an option for all of us. Uh, during the pandemic, the number of people seeking shelter exploded and it hasn't eased up. There's a great need for donations to help these victims. If you or someone you know is in danger, or if you would like to help save lives, we have hotline numbers and information for local shelters on wavy.com. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.